突撃前へ Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 real life plot twists that changed history forever. What invention would transform almost every aspect of human life and drive the world into the modern age? Or conceded, and Bush was awarded the electoral votes and declared president. The news hit Europe like a bombshell. The devil, his enemies said, has been unchained. For this list, we're going over the plot twists and other unexpected events that had a big impact on history. If we shockingly left one off our list, be sure to surprise us in the comments below. Number 10. Genghis Khan Gets Snubbed Khwarezmia was an empire covering much of modern day Afghanistan and Iran. In the early 11th century, they were contacted by Genghis Khan, who sought to create a trade agreement and possible alliance. He looked west to develop trading links, he sent ambassadors to Persia. But then the disrespect began. A 500 person caravan that arrived from the Khan was captured and killed with the Sultan's approval, and further ambassadors that arrived to free them were also executed. The Sultan had fundamentally misjudged Genghis Khan's character. In response, Genghis Khan broke off his attacks on China and spent three years decimating the Khwarezmian Empire, killing close to two million people or nearly a quarter of their population. The conquest led to the empire's downfall and was an important stepping stone for later Mongol campaigns to the west. The extent of the bloodshed in Persia was without precedent. Number 9. Japan Wins the Russo Japanese War. In the early 20th century, both Japan and Russia had designs on Manchuria and Korea. Despite the island nation being much smaller and seeking to negotiate early on, Japan managed to get the better of Russia in the ensuing year and a half long conflict. <laughs> Given Russia's status as a great power at the time, the rest of the big name nations were surprised Japan achieved victory. <laughs> its triumph not only opened up its further conquests on mainland Asia that would play a large part in its imperialism for the next half century, but Russia's defeat also sowed the seeds for the Russian Revolution in 1905 and the rise of the Soviet Union. <laughs> Number 8. The Industrial Revolution's Disastrous Consequences The Industrial Revolution changed everything. Britain needed a new source of fuel. Coal. The development of new manufacturing processes and power sources essentially created the modern world as we know it today, with huge changes in everything from technology to social norms. However, there have also been plenty of unforeseen consequences to all the innovations. What invention would transform almost every aspect of human life and drive the world into the modern age? Easily the most harmful has been the increase in pollution worldwide, which has had a drastic effect on the environment. And while the standard of living has risen in some parts of the world, in others, the Industrial Revolution has only widened the gap between the rich and the poor. Within 25 years, the majority of British people lived in cities. Number 7. A slip of the tongue brought down the wall early. This wall is built to be permanent, intimidating, and deadly. Creating a physical barrier between East and West Berlin, as well as the East and West areas of Europe, was an idea that was probably doomed from the start. But the moment the Berlin Wall's downfall was secured was pretty unexpected. In 1989, the East German press spokesperson Gunter Schapowski was set to announce an easing of travel restrictions between East and West, but had not been informed of the specifics before delivering the message. For the first time, East German citizens can travel abroad freely. A journalist asks him when. He answers, at once. Although the plan was to implement them the following day, Schapowski, ignorant of this, told the press it went into effect immediately. Prompting a flood of people to cross, which led to the guards being overwhelmed and the public ultimately dismantling the wall. If anyone had told me I'd see this damn wall come down in my lifetime, I'd have said they were crazy. Number 6. Terms of peace set the stage for more wars. The Treaty of Versailles was supposed to ensure that the First World War really was the war to end all wars. Instead, however, it sowed the seeds for more to follow. The terms required that Germany surrender territory, restrict its military forces, and pay costly reparations for the destruction the war had wrought. This fostered German resentment, which Hitler used to take control of the country and lead it into another, much larger war, the worst in human history. In turn, the fallout from World War II would lead to the Cold War, as well as conflicts in the Middle East and Asia. Pretty ironic that a peace treaty would result in so much violence. Struggling 
in 1919 with the very same problems we still can't resolve today. Number five, Gore loses, Bush wins. The 2000 U.S. presidential election was one of the most contentious and momentous in the nation's modern history. When the polls finally closed in Florida, the results were just too close to call which automatically triggered a recount by machine. And though we all know that George W. Bush ultimately went on to be president, Al Gore was declared the winner of the all-important Florida by multiple major networks early in the evening, based on exit poll data. Gore conceded, and Bush was awarded the electoral votes and declared president. And ultimately, the election boiled down to the state of Florida. Controversies swirled around rejected ballots and recounts, but in the end, it took a Supreme Court decision to settle the controversy. Despite the fact that Gore had secured more of the popular vote than Bush, W had won Florida, and therefore the presidency. And this decision likely changed the course of American history. Saddam Hussein and his sons must leave Iraq within 48 hours. Number four, Prussia saved by fanboy. While the Seven Years' War, beginning in 1756, is primarily remembered for being a conflict between Britain and France, many European countries took sides, and Prussia aided Britain while also seeking to expand its own territory. Things were looking bleak for the kingdom until Russia's Tsarina Elizabeth died. Her nephew, German-born Peter III, was a great admirer of Prussia's Frederick II, and Russia pulled out of the war and signed a peace treaty with them, saving his idol and the country from certain ruin. Without this act, Prussia probably would never have survived long enough to unify Germany. Peter's actions also caused him to be deposed by his wife Catherine, later called Catherine the Great, who ushered in a golden age for Russia. Number three, Napoleon's return. As great a military commander as he was, Napoleon still lost big time in Russia. This allowed a coalition of allies to drive him to defeat, forcing his abdication and leading to his exile to the island of Elba in the Mediterranean in 1814. Till a sovereign, this would be his new palace, where he was expected to spend the rest of his life. However, less than a year later, the former emperor escaped his imprisonment and marched back to Paris, with few men to start with. Astonishingly, he managed to win every French army sent against him, growing his forces and retaking his throne with little bloodshed. The news hit Europe like a bombshell. The devil, his enemies said, has been unchained. Of course, he was defeated again a mere three months or so later, but how often does the defeated tyrant come back? Instead, they sent him back into exile. This time, they took no chances that he would return. Number two, Arabs defeat Byzantines and Persians. The Sassanid Empire of Persia and the Byzantine Empire were engaged in a 30-year war in the early 7th century, one of many conflicts between the two rivals. However, no one at the time could have predicted that both impressive empires would be conquered by an Arabian army sweeping up from the south. Sure, three decades of war had depleted both empires, but they were still major powerhouses, and the Arab forces were the underdogs. Yet they succeeded through superior tactics and the conversion of their foes to their new religion, Islam. The conquest essentially ended the last of the Roman Empire, and Persian culture had a heavy influence on Islam going forward. Before we get to our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. The Grand Princess of Kiev's brutal revenge. Olga's enemies expected a meek widow, but she defeated them all. Spanish double agent. Juan Pujol Garcia pretended to be a Nazi sympathizer, but misled them to facilitate D-Day. Codenamed Garbo, a Spaniard working for MI5, but who German intelligence officers believed was working for them. Harvard psychological experiments created the Unabomber. Ted Kaczynski had his beliefs broken down, and he later built explosive new ones. At Harvard, Kaczynski was one of 22 student volunteers picked to take part in a personality study of gifted undergraduates. Assassin's second attempt helped launch World War I. Franz Ferdinand's driver took a wrong turn, and Assassin's finished the job. In all fairness to Leopold, he didn't know the exact route. No map, no GPS. He made a mistake and turned onto the wrong street. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Hitler Attacks Russia Despite both Adolf Hitler of Nazi Germany and Joseph Stalin of the Soviet Union signing a non-aggression pact, the former launched an unprecedented assault on Russia a few years later. He was instigating a mental duel with Stalin, which over the next two years 
would decide the destiny of the Second World War. Codenamed Operation Barbarossa, Hitler committed millions of troops to the invasion, more than any other force in history. Hitler had finally made the momentous decision, a war on two fronts, the very thing he'd sought to avoid when he first made his pact with Stalin. The invasion was devastating for both attackers and defenders, with millions killed in both combat and in murders by the Nazis. Ultimately, though, opening up the Eastern Front proved very costly for Hitler, as it brought the Russians into war against him and divided his attentions, massively contributing to the eventual loss of the war for Germany. Had he held off, who knows how the war would have turned out. His decision to attack Russia signed the death warrant of his own dreams of empire and of European imperialism in general. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.